Okay, I have a theory about just, you know, nobody knows. Nobody knows if aliens are real or anything like that. But I was just thinking about Earth's history. And it kind of struck me odd that, you know, the Earth was always bombarded with asteroids. And then, you know, even though we do have the Cooper belt and we do have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and their belts and then the other belt in between our solar system. It still raises the question of what happened to all the asteroids hitting Earth. You know, because I mean, no matter what, there should be. An unlimited supply of asteroids to hit Earth consistently. So, with that being said, it could be in the area of speculation that there isn't a civilization more advanced than us. Now, the possibility is that there is a civilization more advanced than us. As my rock just tilted a little bit. Now that a rock tilt could be a life being from Jupiter, Uranus, or, you know, one of these other planets that, you know, why, why did Earth create us, you know? What makes Earth so special that it was the only one to create a sentient being, you know? So maybe, you know, but... That being said, I also still don't believe that maybe there's an advanced civilization because the asteroids stop hitting Earth. Which means that if there was a Big Bang, then Earth went through its own journey, you know, until it grouped up with the planets that it has grouped up. Because the asteroids stop hitting earth you know no matter how you want to look at it the asteroids stopped hitting earth at a consistent rate so we were going through something we were going through maybe a densely compacted combustion and as we furthered out through time Because maybe light years were made before even space was conceived. And maybe space was only conceived through the combustion of all these materials. That's what created space. But maybe time was made before space was made. Or maybe they were both made at the same time. Either way. You know, unless there was a Big Bang before the Big Bang... There probably isn't an advanced civilization, but we don't know because, you know, there was multiple extinctions on Earth. So there could have been a Big Bang before the Big Bang. But as well to that, you know, I do want to raise the question of what happened to all the asteroids. You know, are we in just an... Uh, like a, a far out distant period from where we were or were we like because I don't even like it's just so weird you know you gotta like bring it all together but basically earth was getting hit by asteroids a lot maybe it was going through something how we say, oh, they're going through something. Earth was going through something, literally, getting hit by asteroids. And then the further everything was able to separate from each other, then, you know, our solar system was able to travel with each other. So I do not think that the planets traveled together 
I think they met at some point in time after the Big Bang because, you know, they could have, like, hit so many different things, you know, and went in different paths, you know. So many things could have happened, you know. But it's just weird to think about an advanced civilization if we have the theory of the Big Bang and the fact of Earth going through a lot of asteroids being hit on it. And now we don't, which means like we are further from the time period that the Big Bang occurred. So it could potentially still be an energy source expanding itself to this very day. It could be an event still going on right now. But I want to know what it is. And what I'm thinking about is how the sky is blue and the ocean is, like, blue. You know, so, like, because, like, I'm trying to really, like, go deep. And I remember I had, a, like, a major acid trip one time. And, like, my feet turned into black ooze. And the ground was black ooze. And that brought me back to, like, a very, uh, I guess the Hadean age of the earth. But that made me think about the solar, or the, gal the universe being, like, black and dark. So... Maybe there's a, a liquid or a substance that is that color. And it's just how we have the sky is blue because the water is blue. Maybe there's just some form of substance that's like either dark energy or dark matter. Either one of those. Maybe maybe dark. Maybe the darker dark one. I forgot. I don't. I, I forgot the names of those two. But I know there's two. There's dark energy and dark matter. But maybe one is like a the actual dense form of the substance, and the other one is the evaporated form of the substance. But, yeah, I think I'm done thinking right now for a bit, y'all, because I just, like, thought a lot right now. But I just had that crazy thought of, like, what happened to all the asteroids, you know? And so I had to really think about it. I was like, what happened to all the asteroids? So, you know, I'm sorry y'all had to listen to that, but, uh, yeah.